Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, playing Hitman episode 2 in Sapienza, Italy. This is the Silent Assassin suit only walkthrough. You can choose any suit you want by default. It's the Italian suit, or you can choose the classic black tuxedo with red tie. Anyways, I'll be doing this with everything default, meaning you don't need a special spawn point or a special disguise or agency pickup to do this method. Just spawn the default spawn with no extra equipment than you normally would. From that spawn, run down to the right hand side, down the hill into the church. In the back room, you can find a church key, then sneak into the morgue and wait as a dead body inside of the middle of the morgue until the lab technician comes in. That should take you about three or four minutes with all the waiting. And then once she comes in, take her out by subduing her, hide her body, take the laptop dongle and the bio lab access key. And then I will come back with commentary at that point. This first section is very easy and should be familiar to you if you've done any other playthroughs, uh, including some of the playthroughs necessary for other achievements or trophies. There's a dark angel. Secure. Leave me, Bernard. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I want to be alone. Ma'am? Oh, Katie. You're dead, and you still look stressed out. <laughs> so, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. So now that we've taken her out and we have her laptop dongle, which we'll use to destroy the virus, as well as her biolab access card, which we'll need to get in and out of the biolabs, we now have to sneak in and kill Silvio Caruso, which is the male target. Now the best way to do this is by going through the ICA safe house. You should have a key for it. So I didn't get this key from anywhere. It should You should just have it on you when you start the level. It is through this door right here. And as we go through here, we can go upstairs through the uh, actual room itself, out the back, climb onto a ledge into the kitchen window, sneak through the kitchen and into the telescope room. Our goal right now is to get into the telescope room and right next to the telescope on the very top floor, we can find a VH VHS tape. We will need that VHS tape in order to uh, do the Silvio Caruso takeout, make sure he's by himself and be able to hide his body without anyone noticing. So that's why we're going for that VHS tape. So the only thing I will mention here is as you climb through this window, feel free to equip a coin. You may or may not need a coin to distract some of the people in the kitchen. If you have the proper setup like I do, you won't need to, but sometimes the guy in the dark red shirt will be uh, kind of sitting and looking towards the window and about to sneak through. In that case, you'd want to throw a coin. Sneak through the window, equip your gun, and make sure you shoot at the camera just to be safe and get the extra points. You won't get on assassin if you're recorded. If you are recorded, you will need to destroy the recording, so that's why I shoot at the camera. Make sure you're not too close to some of the guys on my map or else they'll notice you and it'll be crime noticed. Also, feel free to use safe points here in order to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Coming on this corner, the right-hand side, just make sure there's no enemy here. And on our way back, make sure the enemy doesn't walk through either. He will notice you and it'll be mission over. So upstairs to the VHS room, uh, to the VHS tape next to the telescope. Then we'll go back downstairs into the main floor of that room where we can insert the VHS tape into the VHS player. And then we can hide in the dump in the back of the room and wait for Silvio Caruso to enter.
So while sitting in this dump, eventually Silvio Caruso will walk through the door directly in front of you, as you That's see right there. Silvio He's coming Caruso. in with two guards, but as soon as he notices that the VHS tape is playing, he will ask those guards to leave in order to give him some privacy, and they will both leave him alone in the room. One will exit at the door directly in front of me, whereas one will exit to the left of me. As he's alone in the room, make sure you come out of the box, equip your fiber wire, and kill him, and then hide his body into the dump we are currently hiding in. After that, make sure you take off your fiber wire and take out the guard behind the door to the left-hand side of where I'm currently hiding as he gets in our way a little bit if we don't take him out. Make sure you subdue him and don't kill him or else it voids your silent assassin. And make sure you also dispose of his body in the same container as Silvio Caruso. Feel free to also pick up his gun and then just hide it in your back pocket so that you have it for later. You won't actually need it, but one of the guards will walk by and if, when he notices the gun, he sticks around a little bit longer than he normally would. So it makes it a little bit easier to dispose of the gun of the, set, of the only guard we're actually going to be taking out during the run. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. So after taking out Caruso, taking out his guard, and picking up the weapon, we can now safely go for Francesca. Go up the stairs into the telescope room and just follow along exactly where I go. To the right hand side here, you can come out and find a pipe to climb to get onto the rooftop. From the rooftop, we'll be transferring from building to building without getting spotted. Obviously, no one's patrolling the rooftops, so it makes it really, really easy. Go into the room directly here on the balcony and jump through the window. And then there's another door directly in front of you where Francesca will be. Don't enter this room too early or too late. Basically what you want is for Francesca to be standing at the desk directly in front of you in the middle of the room. And you want to enter the room right as her guard starts walking across from the far end to the kind of other door in the room. And that's when his back's going to be turned. Make sure you have the fiber wire equipped so that you can walk in, that fiber wire her, and Francesca dispose of her body descent. immediately in the dumpster directly behind her. And then you can just exit the room as quickly as possible. You're in and out of the room within 5 to 10 seconds. And that's that taken care of. Now we're going to go back down the same place we came from. And into the telescope room area where the staircase is. And go down the staircase into the bio lab area. Once in the biolab area, this section is pretty easy, although I will be explaining it anyways. Make sure you equip a coin. You can do this without a coin, although the coin makes it a little bit easier in my opinion. There's a guard directly in front of us. He sometimes patrols back and forth, but if he's not, just throw your coin right there, which will grab his attention and make sure he looks away from you as we come into the cavern and down the pipe. Uh, sometimes the guard will spot you if you're not careful, so make sure you throw that coin far enough so that he keeps walking and or that he is on the uh, right part of his patrol so you don't get caught sliding down. As soon as you do slide down directly behind you, you'll see a, a staircase up to the top of this bunker. You can be spotted through the windows, but as long as you're crouching, it shouldn't really be an issue. Onto the top of the bunker and then access the laptop using the laptop dongle that we got from the guard, from the uh, female lab technician earlier. This guy right beside us, you don't really have to worry about him. He will never spot you. As soon as you destroy the virus, start running for the plane. And as soon as you can enter the plane, exit the mission, and silent assassin suit only. Again, you can use the Italian suit or you can use the kind of standard 
uh, Tux with the red tie. That should also get you a whole bunch of other challenges if you haven't gotten them before, as well as the easy Silent Assassin rating for getting over 160,000 points. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully the video was helpful to you guys. Special shout out to Heron Giggles and Doc Cupcake 84 for supporting the show on Patreon. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.